Well, coming up next, it was a nationwide first, and it happened right here on Channel 5 nearly 40 years ago. What was it? You, Find out when Eyewitness News continues at 10. around the world are the USA. Any minute, any hour on the very same day. This is the place for if you were tuned in to the Ed Sullivan special tonight, you enjoyed watching some of the great pioneers of comedy. Well, here in the Bay Area, we have a TV pioneer of a different sort. Her name is Wanda Ramey, and she got her video start right here at KPIX. Ann Fraser shows you Wanda then and now. 1957 was a year of firsts. Sputnik, the first satellite, was launched into space. Althea Gibson was the first African-American woman to win at Wimbledon. And right here at KPIX in San Francisco, another female became a first. Wanda Ramey became the first female newswoman, and Newsweek magazine announced the event with a full-page picture and captions saying, she's a KPIX newsman. It was later when it began to dawn on everybody, and me too, that it was a first. I think when you are a first, you don't realize it at that time. Way before the feminist movement that catapulted Barbara Walters, Diane Sawyer, and Connie Chung into the news spotlight, Wanda was delivering the news with her co-anchor John Weston. And she didn't play second fiddle thanks to a very progressive producer. He made sure that I always got one or two stories in the top of the show. It wasn't John doing it all and then me coming in for the, for the light features. But she did do live commercials. So many, many things. And how do we do it all? Well, one smart answer is suppose stocking. And she did the weather, a very creative weather cast given the technology of the day. Lesser amounts of snow are expected in the Rockies, in the Great Lakes area, and up in New England. And her other duty was to get interviews with celebrities. And her favorite? Eleanor Roosevelt. Not only did she come over to the station where I interviewed her, but I took her home in my car. You know, and I really didn't want to sell that car for two or three years. She got an exclusive interview with Ingrid Bergman's daughter, Pia Lindstrom. You're going to finish school, but what do you plan to do after that with your education? I am interested in television and perhaps something of that type. Well, what part of television are you interested in? Acting? No, not really. Because of my history major, I'm actually more interested in the news broadcast. I was struck by the fact that it was a woman doing the interview because I'd never seen women reporters. Certainly, I'd never seen them on television that way. And she came over to KPIX for, oh, quite a while. She would come almost every day and sit through the new news, watch what we did, how we put the show together. Pia Lindstrom right. eventually went into the TV news but business and was very well, successful. I then got a chance myself to do some of the things that I'd seen Wanda Ramey do. And I've never forgotten her. Wanda worked at KPIX for 10 years, and during that time, her husband, Dick Kirolo, became her cameraman. I did it in self-defense, you might say. We'd go out on the weekend, and she'd take a cameraman with her. And I figured, well, maybe I can do this. One of those other cameramen was Hank Shep, who was just starting at KPIX when he was assigned to work with Wanda. You were so gracious and kind. I was so nervous, and I was, this is my first time with a reporter, and you were so nice. In the 28 years since leaving KPIX, Wanda has raised a family and continued working with her husband on film and television projects. Recently, she went public with the fact that she's in the early stages of Alzheimer's. I would rather they knew that than to say, eek, yeah, Wanda's a little strange today. It's not as, as final as it sounds. You see, Alzheimer's is suddenly being, uh, being diagnosed uh, and given a name, given medication, given care where it didn't used to be. And it's becoming kind of mainstream. Straight talk from a professional newswoman, Wanda Ramey, who's left her mark on the world of television news. Wanda and I will be back tomorrow with another edition of the News at Noon. Until then. This is your woman on the beat, Wanda Ramey. Ann Fraser, Channel 5, Eyewitness News at 10. And you worked with Wanda, too, didn't you? That's right. We did uh, an afternoon show together on KCBS uh, years ago. And I remember the day she walked in the studio before we went on the air, and she said, I just quit. I said, you what? <laughs> she said, I just quit. I'm going to go to work on TV at KPIX. And I wished her well. Yeah, and you followed suit. Well, 19 years later, I'm a slow <laughs> learner. But boy, did she do well. Oh, Wanda. She was She's terrific. wonderful.